Now I give the floor to the distinguished representative of Sri Lanka. Uh, Mr. President, Mr. Secretary General, uh, you have this morning very appropriately reminded us of the preamble of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, that disregard and contempt for human rights have resulted in barbarous acts which have outraged the conscience of mankind and the advent of a world on which human beings shall enjoy freedom as the highest aspiration of humanity. We have reaffirmed our faith in fundamental human rights, in the dignity and worth of the human person and equal rights. We have made a promise and promises, Mr. Secretary General, are meant to be kept and given life to. We have to work consistently and constantly to keep to, that, to those promises. But today, human rights faces multifarious challenges, and none of us are spared of these challenges. We cannot permit this sacred concept to be, abu to be abused as a platform for political and powerful agendas which is anathema to dignified living. Your Excellency, your guiding principles are a beacon of hope. We commend your initiative, but this process must be delicately and efficiently managed. We must be objective. We must leave no room for that critique to be made uh, as the poet Juvenal from his satire said, quis custoduit ipsos custodes, who guards the guards? Sri Lanka, Mr. President, will live to our pledges to this assembly and the Human Rights Commission in Geneva as constitutionally mandated. Sri Lanka, the human rights will be given our highest consideration as it is only human rights that will assure to all of us a world in which we can all live in dignity. We fully appreciate and accept that human rights is at the core of sustainable development, that gender equality and equal rights for women must be assured, that public participation and civic space must be accommodated as a sacred principle of democracy. I will end with a quote from his, the Holy Father, Pope Francis, when he said, quote, the pandemic has highlighted how vulnerable and interconnected we are. If we do not take care of each other, starting with the least, with those who are most affected, including creation, we cannot heal the world. Mr. President and Secretary General, we will support you in all your endeavors and your initiatives to promote and protect human rights. Be assured. Thank you. I thank the distinguished representative of Sri Lanka. <clears throat>